Omniscience. Jenga Taxes. Opt. Um, yes, and they surrender. <laughs> YouTube all welcome to this fine day and today we are going to have a look at Jacob Hawk and Inspector in Historic Brawl. This deck aims to win by activating Jacob and playing any big dumb thing from your deck for free. The deck usually plays out in a way where we don't stack up a ton of cards uh, under Jacob because we he's not a turn two play against most decks because uh, he just dies so we have to play him with protection. And usually just one to two things are good enough and after that the backside will give us continuous value. And we can also use Brainstorm to put something big on top again and then exile it with the um, Lantern of Inset. Well, the not Lantern of Inset, the Hawkins Inset, I bet. The rest of the deck is just a good old counterspell shell. We have a bunch of ramp because, again, if we play those big things, ramp is still good. Also, we just need to activate Jacob Hawken as well. So, yeah, you, you have, need to have a bit of RAM. The RAM I have chosen, though, is basically cards that cash themselves in later for, uh, to draw cards. Or just like big RAM cards like Lotus or just really efficient ones like Signet, right? Because, for example, if you drop an Omniscience, that's not an instant win because we don't have enough draw cards to uh, chain them together and draw our whole deck. So these uh, mana rocks really help with that. Um, other than that, we have some nice tech like Kira Glass Spinner, really pr uh, protects Jacob. And uh, I think this is about it. Uh, let's jump right into some gameplay. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Let's go. We are ready to play against Joda Archmage Eternal. And these two decks are very similar in what they want to achieve. Um, because both of us want to cheat in to play big dumb things. If I don't draw a third land, I'm going to play Jacob on two. Yep. Because I really want to guarantee that land drop. Um, if they remove Jacob, that's okay, I guess. Okay, let's activate a commander. Man, that is unfortunate. Uh, sure. Don't need you. And pass turn. Uh, <clears throat> what are you doing? <clears throat> hmm? Look at you. She really, really likes to annoy me right now. Isn't that right? Hmm? Okay. You stay here. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm? What are you doing? Yes, I know. I know. I'm the evil bad person. <laughs> Anyways. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Hmm? Um I think healer archive. Arcane Signet, and we are good to go to transform next turn. Seems pretty great. Um, I think I like... So currently I'm thinking, what do I want to go with here? Oh, I think I wanna just... Yeah. If you... I think I can hide the letter of acceptance behind that. Yes. I do want to do this. And then I go with Old Breaker Horror. And I can use that to Honestly if they have a removal a removal spell, I I really don't want to run into that, so I'm just go holding up the blink of an eye. I could have bounced both of them. But now they just activate Joda. And then I bounce the spell. And the permanent here, right? Okay. Um, and then I, I can just counter this. Uh, we return... I believe we want to return Joda. Doesn't matter too much, we're going to return both eventually anyways, right? Okay. We get an Agent of Treachery. So now we... 
I think we uh, yep, bounce you and we steal the field of the dead just because it is good in the late game against us not because it's necessarily the biggest threat and honestly wait one two three yeah um i think i am just going to pass the turn here and then if they play something i bounce my own agent and uh, return their spell to hand. Yeah, and <laughs> that does it. Wow, um, that's great. We are ready to play against Calyx. And the cat is sleeping right now because I've took a bit of time, played with her a bit because she was very needy. Um, she likes to playfully bite into things, um, but in the case of last game, that was my arm. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's keep this. This seems great. I just need something big and dumb. Um, I think I just want to hit my land drops here. So, let's go. <clears throat> I am dumb. Oh well, let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. I think we can still just manage fine. Okay, Birth of Miletus. Makes sense. We hold the brainstorm until we really need to find an answer. Oh, we have a flipped lantern. Okay, Jacob. And the cool thing is, we can actually just flip Jacob here. Um, man, Calyx just exiles our Jacob though, which is extremely, extremely unfortunate. So maybe I should have held off, I don't know. No, it's difficult. Yeah, the problem is... And okay, uh, let's just activate Jacob and let's time warp to have something big and dumb. Let's find it. Uh, oh, I think I like that though. Over the like, I just wanna. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is actually just amazing because now I can just chill and I have the counter spell up in case they want to drop the Calyx on me to remove Jacob or just anything basically. Yep. Yeah, okay, I get blown out by Mana Tithe here. Okay, they didn't have it. Um. Okay. Currently, the hits off of Jacob are not too amazing. Oh well. Pass. Activate you. And... Currently don't think that I need the blink of an eye. Ooh, yeah, that's a... That's a card I want to cast off of you. Yep. And I just want to transform him, I guess. Yeah. And then the magic mirror will hopefully pull me ahead here. I know that they can just redeploy Calyx. Oh no, they don't have an enchantment um, to bind the inside on. Because, like, if they draw. Oh no, they do. They do. They have the Wolf Willow Haven. Okay, but they don't decide to do that. The big question is, do I go with the Brainstorm in the upkeep in response to the Lantern? Honestly, I think I will go with Castle of Antris into Brainstorm on upkeep. I think that makes a lot of sense. Also, we have to stick our uh, stack our triggers correctly, because we get a bunch of them. This is last for sure. 
So... Yeah, let's work with the most amount of information here. Okay. Um, we resolve you. Graveyard. And then... Whoops. I messed up the order anyways. Doesn't matter. We're fine. Um, okay. And put Rivers Rebuke on top. I think it's still good, right? Because what ends up happening here is I just river uh, Rivers Rebuke him anyways. And I can just put out these uh, beautiful rocks. Honestly, I think I just want to hold up the Vandress anyways, right? Like, if I draw a disruption, I think it's not too bad if I end up missing out on the Cold Steel Heart. Okay, this is fine. The multiverse provides me they can't minus anything here, right? Yeah. They needed to redeploy the Wolf Willowhaven. Or just a uh, Vel of the Worthy. I am blessed by Nyx. Yep, makes sense, and I will just. Do this. Yep. And the good old upkeep stop will be our friend. Uh, let's do it this way, I think. Yep. Resolve. We draw cards. Yep. Resolve you, graveyard. Transform. We go for. Search for Escanta. Yep, resolve. I do like an Elrond's Epiphany. Um, if I do have an Elrond's Epiphany, that just means that I'm going to make a land drop and cast the exit turn, right? Yep. Did, what do we what do what big thing do we want to put on top? A time warp seems good. Yep. So now we extra turn. Seems amazing. And we can just take a like blink of night just as a tempo play. Um sure. We could have just killed it with birds, but I think I would just want to go face maybe. Um yep. I wanna trigger this in this order. Uh, time warp. Beautiful. Um, honestly, I just want to have a big threat on board, right? So, yeah, I think that's considers as is considered a big threat. Um, so, yep. Swing in, and we end the turn with playing a rock, and then. Returning this to hand now they get a 1-1, but I can just bounce something anyways next turn, right? So <clears throat> Full control again um, Okay Bottom bottom Omen of the sea Well, then I don't get to play something for free in this turn, right? Um Honestly, maybe I want to... Yeah, it seems like I really want to just activate Escanta here again. Seems good. Uh, oh, there is nothing in there. Unfortunate. Okay, that's a land. Oof. Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. I, this says I have no maximum hand size, right? Okay. Um, I think I just want to play land from hand, play the omen for free, return you to hand. And agent seems nice to have next turn. Um, so we swing in and we hold up. What do we even have at instant speed? Yeah, like we don't have too many cards, we just. Uh, uh, do I have to return something? Choose up to one. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so I don't just... Yeah. 
I was just thinking all this interface works basically. <clears throat> uh, a Rasta. I think. I do not care about that at all, right? So now we tail send this and return this to hand. They get one token, but I am going to cast one spell next turn, so this will also get bounce to hand. Yep. Yeah, and they have had enough. Uh, wow, that was an amazing amount of value. Uh, woo. <laughs> Let's go. We are ready to play against Raska Golgari Queen and the thing against this deck is I do not expect Jacob to stick ever so my thinking is like the do I like do I need these big things right like omniscience plus Jinga taxes is obviously extremely disgusting when it comes down but don't I just die until that point we yeah. Like, their commander just killing my commander is really unfortunate. Um, so they go first. And I go land. They go something. I go Guardian Idol. Then I go Jacob hold up Swan Song and they, they just kill Raska. Uh, just kill it with Raska. Uh, Maybe I just use it Jacob as bait anyways, because if they focus on removing my things, they will just lose to the Omniscient Jinka Taxes. Okay. They put on pressure. Um, that is unfortunate. <clears throat> Honestly, I maybe just drop Jacob here. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Okay, they just go full aggro. Man, that's the exact thing I did not want them to do, basically. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunate. Naturalize. Okay. That is not great for us. If they drop Raska here, I'm in trouble. Um. They don't. Oh, they do. They do! But now? Don't I just... Okay, they it take... They have to activate Knight to let it grow, right? That's fine. Um, so they minus Jacob here with Raska. And then I put it into Command Zone, and then I just... Uh, play it again, I assume? Mm-hmm. Ooh, and the time warp just in time to warp, basically. I hope they just activate Faceless Haven here. Reassembling Skeleton. Raska sacrificing the Skeleton. They don't have black, so... Yeah, I think this is uh, GG. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, this is so extremely disgusting. I can't even... Like, what the hell is this? Um... I'm a sorry opponent, but I'm actually not. <laughs> okay, no blocks. Um, yeah, let's just kill them. <laughs> okay, let's hide the omniscience away. And time warp. Yep. Now, we will not hide the Jinga taxes away. We will hide a land because we can play everything for free in our hand anyways. So... Yep. Boom. Omniscience. Jinga taxes. Opt. Um, yes, and they surrender. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are ready to play against Tovalar. And I would consider that this hand is good. Um... Yeah, just interaction. Um, I think I will just hold off on the Jacob. I don't want to die early. Um, but I think I will just take this time to consider. Uh, yeah, Shark Typhoon is not what I need right now. Ooh, tempting. That is tempting. Um, I do want to counter that 
Two drops pretty badly though with this sensor. Um, what's the other play I could make? I've I have, I have three plays here. I could go with the sensor. Hopefully counter the two drop. Like I just need to survive, right? If I go cold seer hard, that brings me closer to the hullbreaker horror, and the Jacob is like meh. I think the cold seer hard is pretty good because. It allows me to play Jacob next turn and hold up sensor. Okay, um, we basically got perfectly punished, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, this is pretty good. Uh, sure, you swing in. I don't block. You sacrifice it to stop my ramp, I guess. Rhythm, ah, uh, yeah, no, 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 thank you. I do not, like, uncounterable, and, <laughs> yeah, this is not what I want to see. Okay, uh, sure, I think I will just take this time to hide away the omniscience, because I do not need it in my hand right now. And I hold up Dark Major's ch uh, Charm. Oh, true! Um, they hold up the Liberator to... Um, they hold up Liberator to destroy the Lantern, right? Um, oh, now they are in trouble though, right? Oh, they can still sacrifice it, right? Yeah, they can still sacrifice it. Um, sure, destroyed. I really hope they tap out. Oh, they did? What opponent? That is problematic for you. Oh, uh, yeah, we draw two. Okay. Yep, um, I think that is possibly a GG. Uh, because... I'm just going to exile a land here. Yep. Omniscience. Old Breaker Horror. Brainstorm. Return to hand. And. Yeah, okay, this is disgusting. Ugun, Age of Treachery, Hold Up Tails End. <laughs> wow. <laughs> GG. We are ready to play against Linvala. <clears throat> and like I think they're just like Azorius tempo, which is arguably one of my worst matchups. Could have molded this, but I do like the tails and Hello opponent, how are you doing? So, yep, Watcher, oh man, this is really bad for us. I think I will just hold up the tails end or just blink of an either Watcher if they do something here. I think I could have just blink of the eye of the Watcher in my turn so they wouldn't be able to get things for cheaper. Oh, um, yeah, I do want to activate my Jacob though. Um, sorry opponent. <laughs> okay, um, we drop this now. And I think I will just like always hide away the omniscience, right? Like it's objectively just wrong to not hide it away because if you lose the omniscience by them bouncing Jacob, then you have the mana later on to literally play everything else. So, seems good. Um, I do this now. I have more information what I want to do in their turn. Um, or like if I want to opt here or whatever. I can't block anything anyways. I could have bounced the Watcher again. Um, but I think it's pretty good to hold up the intervention. <clears throat> If they 
protect the watcher with sacrificing this and giving X proof. That's totally fine by me. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with this. I want to draw the card here to guarantee my land drops. Yep. Nice. Oh, that's a flood of tears. Oh, that is a flood of tears. You know what that means? I can potentially do really disgusting things with this. That's what that means. Mm, if I had some mana rocks, I would just be able to drop something big and dumb for free here. But I don't. Um, I think I like hiding the way... I feel like sensor won't do too much here. Okay. Um, let's opt. See where we go from here. Well, that's an into the royal. It's basically the same card. Okay. And now I just need to... Man, a tail's end would be a really disgusting thing for them to have. Um, I think they hold up a counter spell. I cast them for free, right? Yeah. Uh, sure. Hmm, interesting. Do have the bounce spells, I do have the Ugin. But if the if they have a land drop and like if they have a counter spell for the omniscience, I'm just dead, so. Oh. Um The window just opened, interesting. Uh but if Yeah yeah, sorry opponent. <laughs> if they have a counter spell uh to counter the omniscience, I'm just dead. So Yep. I'm almost dead anyways, right? Okay. No! Oh my god. I just messed up. I should have played the land first. Okay. Um, damage control. Full damage control, I repeat. Uh, I think I have to put this away, right? Man. Um, hmm. Oopsie. Okay. Um... Let's bounce the Watcher. Yep. And then... Pass turn. Oh man. Um, yeah, you gotta... You have to have the lance... Be like, yeah, I can't play the lance afterwards and then just transform it, right? Um, now I'm dead, I believe. Hmm. Yep. And I have to go for this. <gasps> That's such a huge draw! I'm so good at magic! Didn't matter anyways. Man. Okay, omniscience, go! Um... Okay. Yeah, we won. Uh... Sure. That's hilarious. And then they're like, oh, what's the worst thing that could happen, right? And I'm like, this is the worst thing that could happen. That's an Ugin. Hello, my opponent. How are you doing on this fine Ugin day? Yep. Yep. This is four seams. No, this is two seams here, right? Yeah. I'm. J if they want to mess with my omniscience, I'm just going to whole break a horror in response. Yep. Yeah. And <laughs> Okay, this is insane. Yeah, GG. We are ready to play against Anya. And... Let's see. They're in Rakdos, so basically the best color combination to just repeatedly kill an O2. 
the way we win this is we just ignore Jacob probably and then ramp out and kill them anyways. Um, I think this could be a mulligan. Like I, I just want to have rocks. I have enough big things in the deck that I can cast. Tails at is nice though, and and hitting the, all my land drops is pretty good. But yeah, let's try mulliganing with this deck a bit more. So, yep, Mulligan. Ooh, ooh, Kira is great. Kira is actually amazing. So, let's start out with the island. And honestly, I think I'm just going to cycle this lay claim on turn two. Um, like, make them think that it might have counter spells, right? Yep. Um, your pass turn, and then I'm going to go Kira on three, Jacob on four. Okay. And they follow up with the Vampire of the Dire Moon, sure. That's completely fine. I think they're a vampire tribal. Um, okay, Kira. Carry me, Kira. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Now, remember, this ability is symmetrical, and what I mean by that is I can't. I, I also can't target my own things, otherwise they get countered. But um, this doesn't really matter in this deck. Yep, no blocks. Kind of don't want to lose this. It's a really neat card to have. For Rex and Rena, sure. I don't care. Um, oh, okay, we have the Jacob flip next turn. But we we can't just not show this to them, right? And then we can Epiphany. Yeah, let's just foretell the Epiphany, I guess? I don't think... I think they're just very likely to play the commander out here, right? Like, I feel very safe. Maybe too safe, but... I do feel very safe with this Kira on the board. <clears throat> so, opponent, what do you have? Double removal spell on Kira would also be fine. Because, like, they want to remove the Kira, most likely. Okay. Um, that is annoying for Search for this counter, but other than that, it's pretty much fine. Also, I bounce it anyways, right? Okay, this Mox activate. We go with a Temporal Sundering. Yep, pay. Flip, and... Yeah, I do want to be able to use this Castle of Entrance here. So that's why I bounce it. Okay, another land. Um... Play you, Epiphany. Get another extra turn. Um, oops, should have put a stop onto the upkeep. But it's probably fine. I feel, again, probably too safe. Also, the one fun thing here um, that's going on is <clears throat> that um, this is not a legendary creature planeswalker anymore, so Mox Ember wouldn't produce mana anymore. It's still just a great card to have, right? Because if you flip this, you win anyways, well, most of the time. But the Kira is now the legendary creature here providing us with the Mox Ember mana. Um, they swing it with the team, I believe. Yep. What was Zealot? Interesting. Interesting. Yep, pass. And we have a ton of scry available to us here. Blood Sun, we activate Castle Entrance in response. Oh, haha! Ah, you see? 
That is a great card to have. Um, but is it? Is it though? I can't really use it. Um, and the search for Escanta is also quite annoying, right? Because. Hmm. I feel like I actually don't want any of these. Sure. Also, I can just still dig deeper with the Mice Mind Tome. Yep. And Cool Blade. Sure. Uh, you on the bottom. And do we want to draw or not? I think we have enough mana that we can just draw. But maybe the scry is just better. Yep. That's actually the exact reason why the scry was better than the draw. Because if we would have drawn the Jinga Texas, um, I wouldn't have been able to play it. What if we... Oh no, I would have. Um, but now being able to play it for free is obviously way, way better. Um, land. The, these set don't have any abilities. Jinga Texas with a Kira on the board seems pretty decent, not gonna lie. The Omniscience is on the bottom, um, so that's obviously kind of bad for us, but whatever. Um, I don't think we will ever play Flood of Tears this, this, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever, this, and it seems like I don't need an Overflowing Insight anymore. Yep. And <clears throat> have so much protection up. I don't think they can win this. I just draw a ton, and I mean a ton of cards each turn. <clears throat> I can also just into the Royal the Blood Sun, Scry again. One, two, one, two. I can even into the Royal and kick it, and then Blood Sun, or I can just play it normally and hold up Jawari Disruption or Tails End. I think I like that. Like, what's winning me the game here are the scries with the Lantern of Insight. With the with Hawkins of I always say Lantern of Insight, but you know what I mean, guys. Faceless looting. They loot their cards away, sure. They're trying to find an answer to this. The Kira makes it hard for them, for sure. And then, I only have, like, soft permission against removal spells, but it's probably enough. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't need to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just not doing anything. Embercleave? Sure, I also don't care about that. Um, yep. And I think I will just take this opportunity to into the royal. Uh... No, honestly, I should have, I could have, should have, maybe, um, dealt with the Embercleave with Tails End, but I do hold up the Spell Pierce, <clears throat> so that's pretty good. I want to bounce this Blood Sun re uh, really, really badly. Okay, do you have something else, opponent? <clears throat> Excuse me. One more thing is like obviously an extra turn off the top is just the best thing. I'm just going to do this and keep up spell priest during this. I'm I do not need the card really. Okay. Castle Ventress activation. And that's an agent of the top, so that's pretty nifty. Yep, they do not have maximum hand size anymore. That's pretty good. Um, sure, let's cast an agent. And honestly, let's just take the Phyrexian Arena. Maybe, maybe just the Vampire of the Diamond. <coughs> okay, let's draw a card with Ventress, uh, with Maze Mind Tome, I mean. And can I close it out? Not sure. Math is from blockers. Oh yeah, I I absolutely close it out. 
Oh, it's exactly even. If they would have left at one, it would have been obviously a great misplay to steal the arena. GG. We are done with the games. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. And yeah, this is basically mono blue, mono green. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is basically what this deck feels like. We are mono blue, but we're trying to do mono green things. Just playing big dumb threats one after another. Um, the really cool part about this though is as opposed to mono green we have counter spells and just meaningful interaction and also like the mvp of the deck as you saw uh, in some of the games is time warp because it allows us to cheat out the jacob activation one turn earlier than they expect and that is just all you need a lot of the times um if you want to play this deck on a budget you can just replace most of the counter spells with cheaper versions um you won't be able to counter spell as flexibly but i think it's fine the cards you're mostly after are the big things because i've looked through like pretty much all the cards just to find these uh, big threats and almost none of the other big cards are w even worth to play so yeah the big cards is what really like makes the deck tick basically and mana rocks you you have a bunch of mana rocks that are at common and uncommon anyway so yeah Hope you enjoyed today's deck and um, I will see you tomorrow.